Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. We are doing another fun touristy filled day in London. We just got ready. It's about, I don't know, nine in the morning, something like that. It is 9.15. We are struggling, but I will say like the last night that we spent in the Cotswolds, we actually got sleep for the first time. We slept for like 10 hours or something like that, like straight. And then last night we slept for like eight hours straight. So honestly, pretty pleased about that. I am not mad at all. Yeah, I forgot we went to bed like Mm -hmm. We ordered a bottle of wine at like 10 o'clock. <laughs> Here it is. The proof. We didn't finish it, but you know, close enough. Um, anyways, we're back in London now. We checked into a different hotel room and this hotel room actually, I don't know if you can see it. It overlooks the St. Pancras, I think that's how you say it, train station. So it's literally right there. When we got here, we were here a little bit earlier, like before check-in yesterday. And they were like, we have a room that overlooks the train station or if you want to wait like an hour we have a room that overlooks the british library and we were like sure let's do the train station like that sounds fun and look how cool it is i mean the windows are a little dirty but um you can see like the freaking trains as they come and go can't really hear it so that's nice we just got ready we're back in london for the rest of the trip i survived driving in the cotswolds yesterday i think i did film we survived we survived i think i did film like a couple little clips yesterday so i'll put those in here All right, it's actually um, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's Wednesday and we are not vlogging today, but we went <laughs> but to we the aren't. cutest, yeah. We went to the cutest little cafe for breakfast and we have some stuff left over from afternoon tea yesterday. One of which is a flapjack, which he's never tried before, or at least not this kind, because we got like the package kind of, Car's like, e this car is go. turning on and off. Anyway, and we need to get rid of this box because we're heading back into London today and checking into our new hotel and stuff. So we just have like shit that we don't want to bring with us. So we have here a delicious Victoria sponge and lemon cake that we will unfortunately be leaving behind because we weren't able to finish. And then we have a Biscoff Millionaire shortbread and a flapjack. So we're gonna try them. Try the flapjack first. Should we? Yeah, just break off a piece. I oh. think you're supposed to eat these with a fork, but we don't have that. I'm just gonna bite it. Also, Jasmine wanted to get, especially Drew's reaction, because he's never had it before, so you better give her a good show. Okay. Ready? She's not gonna, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 like a granola bar. This is a granola bar. Mm -mm. Yes, this is a chewy granola bar. No, mm -mm. what granola bar do you know tastes like that? I mean, no, no, no. Taste wise, I will say. Taste wise, it's good. Mm -hmm. Texture, it's a granola bar. I get it, but no. Yes. I will say, like, the layer of toffee seemed thicker on the bottom last time. Still, I mean, will you give it out of 10? Maybe like a 7. Okay, that's fine. Here we have. The Biscoff Millionaire Shortbread. I think it's like chocolate, maybe caramel, and then like a Biscoff Shortbread underneath. Oh I think, the, I guess a disclaimer, I don't, I'm not a fan of oat things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, sorry. You'll like sorry, that. Sorry, Jasmine. <laughs> I like this one. Mm -hmm. She's that girl. Delish. Overall, amazing. Your desserts here are superior. Your chocolate, far superior, obviously. We are big fans, but unfortunately, we are not gonna be able to finish all of this stuff. But just wanted to, especially for Jasmine, just wanted to show her that we did in fact try it, and they are delicious. It is good, but it's a granola bar. I remember the flapjack like blowing my mind last time, and that was really good, but it didn't blow my mind, I don't know. Maybe it was an off day. Okay, we are gonna head back on the train and go back into London, and we will catch up with you either later or tomorrow. You mean give me that, give me that trash? Oh, oh yeah. Bye. <laughs> I was attempting to show my outfit for the day, but like, 
there's just no, they don't like full length mirrors in the hotels that we've stayed in or the cottage. They actually didn't have a mirror besides downstairs above the fireplace and then in the bathroom. So it's been a struggle and they don't have outlets in their bathroom. In case you didn't know, in the UK, you can't have outlets in the bathroom. It's like a fire hazard or something. Um, you can only plug in like a shaver. It's like a very specific plug. So like you have to get ready in your room, which like most people probably have vanities and stuff. But anyway, so here is my outfit of the day. Drew goes, oh, you're going full American. My fly is down a little bit. That's cute. This hat I got at Quality Thrift in Long Beach. I think it's so cute. I've been waiting to wear it. I have this thrifted sweater. I don't know. I got this probably two years ago, something like that. I haven't really worn it. My tank top underneath is from Old Navy. My jeans are from Hollister. And I got my Sambas on and that is today's look. We're just gonna go out and explore. I think we might start in Notting Hill because we haven't been in that area yet. We really haven't explored that much of London yet. So today and tomorrow are gonna be busy and full of very touristy things. And this tag is itching me if you couldn't tell. So we will see how long that lasts. Let's head out and go explore London. This is the outside of our freaking hotel, by the way. Like what the hell? <laughs> this place is crazy. This is my, this is my new apartment, everyone. <laughs> wow, surprise we're moving into that apartment. So I think this is a thing in like other big cities as well, like I'm pretty sure New York and stuff, but they have like private gardens for the residents to use. Um, this is my secret garden dream come true. So freaking pretty. goodness remember when I accidentally almost stole a bag because I wasn't paying attention last time I was here we will not be doing that this time that was terrifying we were getting hungry walking around it's about like 11 o'clock now and we were like looking for a place to eat we just stumbled across this place across from the Naughty Hill bookshop called Mike's Cafe Mike's Breakfast Cafe something like that and I'm getting beans on toast I'm very excited about it and Drew's getting another full English so it's gonna be great we got an orange juice and a cup of tea oh my god it looks so good so many beans give us all the beans all right finished breakfast it's time to go in. Shout out Greg's. We love you, Greg's. Forgot to mention it, but we actually did get Greg's yesterday. And did you enjoy it? You thought I, I thought you did. Yeah, I did enjoy my second sausage roll. I also got a steak bake. We got pepperoni pizza. I got cheese bites, Good. and it was delicious. So we're big fans of you, Greg.
So we have a tradition that everywhere we go that has these like squashed pennies, because the UK has pennies as well, we get them for Drew's nieces. So we're gonna get a couple of them for the girlies. <gasps> Ooh, which one did you get? Is it hot? No. This one is the it's just a London, London Eye. Eye. I wanted it. This oh, that one, one looks like shit. I want this one. I want Tower. Tower okay. Bridge. Till penny drops. There we go. Got the Tower Bridge as well. So we got the coins for the girls. We're out of here. All right. We're done with the London Eye. We're now walking to a place called Gordon's Wine Bar, and it looks amazing. It's like a almost like a cave, like a wine cave. And I'm pretty sure the tube or the trains or something goes over it. So it's a little scary, but. You know, we had a little taste for the champagne and now we want more. So maybe like a cheese board and some wine is in our future. Oh my god. <laughs> Mind your head. It's kind of terrifying, but also really fun. Would you look at that? What a lovely date night. We got two glasses of Sancerre. We got some manchego cheese. No, sorry. Camembert cheese. Mature cheddar and Mayfield cheese, I think it's called. We also got some other stuff, and I don't know what it is gherkins, onions, chutney, I think it's quince jelly, and some other stuff. We're gonna check out Neil's yard and see what it's all about. It happened so fast, but Drew and I had a couple drinks and now we just went in this photo booth and we took the photos in literally less than 30 seconds and now they're coming out and we'll see what they look like. It's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Sure, why not? I thought that was the machine. <laughs> that is so cute. We came across this place that has buns. They have a chicken curry bun and look at this. We think we might just grab a bunch of stuff and take it back to the hotel room with us because it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, this place is called the Cheese Bar and it has a rotating cheese bar and then you get wine and you pick out your freaking cheese. It smells so stinky. I love it. It is many hours later. We've been back at the hotel for probably like two hours now just watching TV, just chilling and um, we had brought some dinner back with us from the food hall and there were so many good options and we weren't just like sure what to get so we got a couple things to go and they were all terrible. <laughs> she was giving them a big thumbs down. It was so, you know when you're like so excited and you get like all the way back to your hotel or wherever it is, all the way back to your house and like your food's just garbage so. That was a bummer, um, but we ate some biscuits and other things, and it just is what it is, you know? But I am reaching that point in the trip where I think I'm like hitting a bit of a wall. I just don't feel like vlogging that much anymore. I feel like the vlogs are just getting much more sporadic, and so I'm not gonna force it. So this might just be the end of this vlog, or I may attach this to more footage tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure, because I have not sat down to edit any of this stuff yet. Oh my god, I forgot to show my knee. I literally fell today. Well, does that count as falling? Mm. We were walking on this like slippery part of the cobblestone, and all of a sudden, my foot slipped out and so I I was kneeling, like I kneeled on the ground. Well, sort of. Drew grabbed me and I just went like this. <laughs> so I kneeled on the ground. And now there's like, a, well, you can't even see it, Never mind. But there is a bruise coming in on my knee. It's just so funny, like, <laughs> what an idiot. I don't know what made me think of that, but I'm gonna go jump in the shower. Oh, I'll show you. I think I showed this morning, but I'll show you what the train station looks like at night. Look at it. 
Oh, it's so cool. So, so cool. Anyway, we walked like 20,000 steps today, so I'm pretty tired. Gonna take a shower, relax, rest. If for some reason this is connected to another vlog, then I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It's our last full day in London. We leave tomorrow around noon, so this is gonna be our last hurrah and we decided to go for it. We're dressing up, we're doing a fancy afternoon tea today, which will be fun. We were gonna go to a museum this morning and Drew has made the call that he's just over it. He doesn't wanna be in big crowds of people anymore. That was one of the main things that we wanted to do when we were here. We also like, we had so many plans of things we wanted to do. Like we wanted to go to Richmond, we wanted to go to Camden. There's so many different parts of London, obviously that we haven't explored yet, but like literally we just don't have enough time. So instead we are just gonna take it easy today and kind of like stay around this area, I think. Our afternoon tea reservation isn't until one o'clock. So I think in the meantime, it's like just before 10, we're gonna grab some coffee, like get a little pastry, see what we get up to, walk around, whatever. But I wanted to show you my outfit because I think it's quite cute. Also Drew discovered that there is a full length mirror in this wardrobe this morning when he was doing some ironing or something like that. But here is today's look. I have this long sleeve sort of like exposed hem top on. This is from Primark. I think I got this the last time I was here in England and it's so comfy, so cute. My skirt, or my skirt actually, is from Old Navy. It's an athletic workout skirt, but no one has to know. And it has shorts, which is so iconic. And then I have these cute tights that have hearts on them. Maybe they're polka dots. I think they're hearts. These are from Sheertex. And then I have some cute bows in my hair, because why not? These are from Urban Outfitters and they have like long little strings on them. I don't know, I think they're adorable. My earrings are from Amazon. My necklace is from ASOS. Got my Converse, cause I just want to keep it casual and comfortable. And then I finally get to wear my teddy bear bag that I thrifted that I'm so excited about and it's just so cute and it just feels very English. So anyway, let's go enjoy our last day. We need to wake up a little bit. Although we did sleep for nine hours. I think Drew slept for like 11 hours, literally crazy. So we're rested, but still jet lagged for some reason. And now we have to go back tomorrow. Anyway, let's go explore. I'm in line of duty. I love it. <laughs> Girl, you look like a model from the 60s. Natural kind of beauty. No surgeries. Can't get this kind of look from anything else but God. And everybody knows it too. You got that 60s kind of vibe to you. And it's hard to be. Ain't gonna find it. why not and we actually took the train the wrong way for a while so it was what was supposed to be like 15 minutes ended up being like 40 minutes but that's okay we got there and yeah now we're walking to our last reservation of the trip which is sketch which is like an afternoon tea place and i've heard so much about this freaking place for so many years and i've always been so curious it's not like traditional by any means it's like very funky very bougie i think but we're gonna try it out because i, I want to know what it's all about and i really want to see those bathrooms if you know you know i'll show you i'm quite excited i'm very hungry a memory a much sweeter part of the story like an old beach boy's melody just swimming around in my head and singing Don't you worry baby, alright, alright I got you by my side We can turn back the time This decade don't feel right So if you catch my vibe Just sing it out into the night 
Okay, so far we got a glass of champagne, which is the same type of champagne that we had on the London Eye yesterday. I got chamomile tea, and this is our first course, and I'm not gonna lie, I did not understand what he said. Some kind of egg chickpea thing. So we'll find out. Okay, so the afternoon tea came. I didn't fully understand everything. I think this is salmon and ricotta, cucumber and some kind of egg. Quail egg. I don't remember that one. And that one's croque coronation me. chicken. Croque oh, croque monsieur. Then we have a Battenberg, which we know because of the Bake Off. Thank you very much, Great British Bake Off. Some kind of tart. Yeah. And then a... Eclair. Some kind of eclair, I already forgot. Grapefruit marshmallow, pineapple chili cheesecake, and then chocolate and coffee macaron. I'm excited. We also got a round of scones with clotted cream and jam, and I forgot to film it because we ate it. Pretty good though. <laughs> now we have to experience the most iconic part of this restaurant, which is the bathrooms. movie part of it is the show that we went to in LA so like obviously we have to see it we were supposed to see it before we left but we didn't go in an attempt to like try and not get sick but now we're here so we might as well and I think it's like an IMAX theater oh we missed it Drew just asked me if they have popcorn in the UK at the movie theater and he said I don't know maybe they they might give you like jelly eel or something yes they have popcorn but we'll be the judge of if it's good or not we'll let you know Right, so it's like super late now. It's like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., something like that. We've been back at the hotel for a while. We are just chilling, packing, getting everything ready to go to, I was gonna say to go to bed. I'm <laughs> so tired. To go to the airport tomorrow. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. But our review of the Eras Tour movie was that it was amazing. We actually like, I don't know, we went to some IMAX theater and they like were very, they had someone come out beforehand and they were like, it is illegal to film this movie. Like you cannot have your phone out. It's illegal, it's against the law, blah, blah, blah. So I'm confused because I watched a bunch of TikToks in the US of like, people dressing up and filming each other and filming the songs and dancing and all that kind of stuff. So we weren't allowed to film anything, but we did go, it was great. British popcorn is interesting. There's no butter that I could tell. And they ask when you order it, if you want sweet, salty or both, which I thought was really cool. We got salty, but it's like, it's like popcorn with salt, but there's no butter. So it's not like that buttery Dry movie salt. theater popcorn. <laughs> That's just, you know, Americans, we love putting like butter. It's not even butter, it's like oil. <laughs> but it's so good anyway, but that was good I had some sort of like icy thing and that was really good as well And yeah, we just enjoyed the movie so much We were singing along having a great time and and when drew went to the show that and actually part of the movie I think I mentioned this but like one of the two shows that they filmed for that movie was one of the ones that we were at And so we were up in the nosebleeds for that show So it was drew especially thought it was really cool to like see stuff up close and like up on the stage And yeah, I just couldn't recommend it enough. It was amazing I'm gonna take a shower and finish packing and yeah, we just had such a good time I really fell off of the vlogging game while I was here, but it's more a vacation and less like content you know i also dropped my camera today and shattered the screen so i can't even fully tell if i'm in the frame or not or if i'm recording i'm not 100 percent sure i think i am but yeah you know i'm just always dropping things so that's not good i don't know what just happened but my camera just shut off so i think it's time to go i think my camera is telling me something wait Oh yeah, okay, recording. So anyway, thanks for, wait, is it stopping recording when I do that? No, it's not. Okay. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with us for some of our England trip. It was really, really fun and I'm so glad we finally got to do this together. It was such a good time and we can't wait to come back. We will definitely be back someday. We wanna do more of like the countryside and like Northern England, Scotland, Wales, like that would be amazing. Thanks so much for being here and for hanging out with us and I'll see you very soon in the US of A. Woo!
America.